Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for Sign of Aquarius, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Aquarius. If you like a personal reading, that is going to be down below in the description where you can find that on my website. You can also find a bunch of other things there on my website too. It is free to sign up and join, so go ahead and go check it out. All right. Now, there's a card that fell on the floor. Some of you guys are in this Empress mode, creating something here. By the way, we are using the Aquarian Spirit Tarot today, which you can find on the shop section of my website. But let's see what we have going on for Aquarius. Okay, what's going on for Scooby Line Science Day? What's happening? Cards keep trying to flip over for you. There's the Queen of Pentacles that was trying to flip over and flip out. The Queen of Pentacles is the Queen of Money. Some of you guys are turning into this Queen of Money here, or this King of Money here, either way, where you're going to be having a lot of money. Okay, maybe you're already... The wealthy king or queen, you know what I'm saying? But let's see. What do we have for Aquarius? You guys are popping up as the warrior that has been through a lot of battles here. And you're at a crossroads on which way to go. It doesn't matter which way you pick because you're going to have the same end result anyways. So it doesn't really matter. You're, the choice, I know it sounds funny, but the choice you make doesn't actually matter. Um, a lot of you guys are completing a cycle here or breaking free from something as well. Um, you know, I feel like, I feel like you're just moving on to something new or you, you got something completed. Now you're ready for the next thing. Now you're not ready for the next project Aquarius. We also have some of you guys connecting with Uranus placement within your birth chart. There's wealth, there's prosperity that's coming in Aquarius. This is also fertility with this card with the pig. But I feel like overall you guys are moving into a new cycle of wealth. Okay? You're moving forward here towards wealth. You're rising up here towards abundance, Aquarius. We have you connecting with the stars in here. We have you connecting with Sothis, Aquarius. We have you're balancing out both the spiritual and your material needs. There's something here you're deciding not to take action towards. And it's something, I feel like it's something that would take you off your true path in life, Aquarius. So let's see more for Aquarius. Strength. We have you guys connecting with strength here. Where you guys are appearing as very strong. You guys are appearing as in your power. You're reclaiming your power back to you, Queen of Wands. Some of you guys may have Leo in your chart, or there's a Leo that's around you. You're looking towards the future. You're looking towards your future. What's next for you, Aquarius? What is your next big thing? What is your next big project? King of Swords. King of Swords, be yourself. Whether you're male or female, does not matter. There's a Queen of Cups that's now popping up. A Water Sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. There's Generosity. There could be a water sign coming in that's being generous to you, I'm trying to gift you something. I see water sign. I, I also see Leo. I know Leo's fire. But I feel like... I feel like you have multiple people coming in wanting to speak to you is a thing. You may have multiple people. It feels like multiple people, multiple offers. Maybe some type of bidding here going on. It could be gifts coming in. You know what I'm saying? It, it feels like we have... I almost feel like we have people wanting to work with you as well. You know, this could be work-related, or this could be new money opportunities coming in for you, Aquarius. There's a Ten of Cups. Like I said, I'm seeing your money here increasing. I'm seeing wealth increase. I'm seeing you being very prosperous, Aquarius, and I'm also seeing you being extremely happy. This card also represents the happy relationship, the happy marriage, the happy family. So maybe you guys have that coming your way, too. Maybe, maybe some of you guys are, like, getting married over here or or something like that yeah there could be a marriage proposal i feel like you have somebody here coming in wanting to propose to you but they're unsure whether or not you'll accept their proposal here this is somebody here that wants children with you this could be somebody here that you're you've entered a new relationship with maybe you know this person feels this way about you that you know they i feel like this person wants to marry you aquarius they they keep they keep this to themselves here, but I feel like they do indeed want to marry you. I see um Sodex and I see I see Pisces and I see Cancer the most. It could be somebody here with some Pisces and some Cancer in their birth charts. Doesn't even have to be their sun sign. It just could be somewhere in their birth chart. But I also see some of you guys could be buying a new car. Once again, there's you. 
and this person here together. All right. Now, when I say there's this person that's coming towards you, it's not the one that's ignoring you, Aquarius. Like that, that that's self-explanatory right there. You know. We also have potentially Aries here too, potential Taurus. Virgo is here. Seeing you're having your luck turn around. I feel like things are going to be working out in your favor more. I feel like your business is going to be growing, Aquarius. There's a seven of swords. I don't like the seven of swords here. I feel like there was somebody here that was trying to be sneaky and deceptive, but it feels like they caused their own tower moment. All right, that's not the love that's coming your way, by the way. I could have, I, I don't know. I feel like there was somebody here. There's like a player of the past that was trying to play you, but I feel like they ended up just playing themselves. They could have been a Scorpio here. You're getting what you've been wishing for. What you have already been investing into, Aquarius. I don't know. I feel like the person that played you before. I feel like the thing is, like, you weren't really happy with that person anyways. And I feel like they just end up with people they're not really happy with. Like, there, there's nobody that's happy in that situation here. You know, they may try to come back around and try to, like, woo you. But I feel like you're not really wooed because you're you're going to be already with somebody else. Some of you guys would be married at that point. You know, it's like, get, get out of here. Like, why would you trade, you know, your happy relationship and your happy marriage for somebody here that played you? That makes no sense. You know, somebody here that, that couldn't even act right in a relationship. You saying no is going to be justice. You blocking them is going to be justice. You understand that? So just, um, we have the moon. Some of you guys be connecting with your moon sign, whatever that is for you, and you're closing out a cycle once again. You're closing out something here that, I don't know, I just feel like you're closing out that whole cycle with that person that was playing you, and you're moving, like I said, you're moving forward into a brand new relationship. Some of you guys be moving forward with a Gemini here, or there's just somebody here that's rushing your way that wants to be with you. I feel like, like, here, it's this person that wants to marry you, it's, it's this person that wants to marry you, it's this person that wants to have kids, you know what I'm saying? This person wants everything with you. Some of you guys could have Sagittarius within your birth chart. Here we have, um, I don't know, maybe some of you guys have Capricorn as well. Hmm. A lot of you guys are also getting free from something toxic, from something here that was burdensome to you, something here that you've had battles with, you're becoming free from it, and there's people, once again, there's people coming in wanting to work with you, Aquarius, Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords is yourself, whether you're male or female, does not matter. I feel like I can't breathe. Something with this tarot. See, once again, there's the, there's like the, the marriage here, there's the engagement, there's the commitment. This keeps popping up in your guys' reading. This is this, this is a new relationship or a newer relationship here. You're going to have exes watching you guys move on. So they're going to have an ex watching them move on with you that they don't speak to anymore, obviously. And you may have an ex that's watching you move on too. This keeps popping up in your guys' reading, still hanging on to you. You know, but all, all day... All the X really did was just cause bunching anxiety anyways. You've already got the truth of that situation anyways. That, that That's not something you want ever to deal with again. Now, there's a King of Cups here. Queen of Pentacles. See, I feel like these are X's that are watching from the sidelines here. Star. Star is yourself. They're also going to watch you get blessed with a bunch of money here. Once again. So you're just getting blessed in front of your, your enemies, Aquarius. We have a lot of money that's on this car. There's the family. There's the home. There's the dogs here. Yeah. It's the, this is Scorpio. Once again, there's a Scorpio that's watching you. Or a Leo. Scorpio Leo. They're watching you move on here like the Empress. They're, watch, they're watching you, like, come into a lot of abundance. And they're not, they are with you. Some of you guys are, like, creating something, some sort of creative project. Once again, there's, like, this marriage here. There's this, there's three things you've been waiting for that are coming in for you. So one of them could be the marriage. One of them could be, you know, the wealth, the money here. Maybe another one's a car. You know what I'm saying, Aquarius? Something like that. 
You have the goddess Asa that you're connecting with, which is healing you and helping you heal others around you. You're going to be having more fun in life. You're going to be in the fun side of life, Aquarius, once again, in this creation mode. All right. It is justice for you. All of this blessing, all this abundance coming in is justice for you. And you're getting a bigger viewpoint. Uh, like you're getting, you're seeing the bigger picture, basically. And you're seeing it clearly here. So let's go over to these cards. Once again, you're going to be turning into this king or this queen of money. And we have you guys reconnecting back to your spirituality. Once again, there's somebody here that's still stuck on you, but you're distant towards them. All right. And that's justice. It's justice that you're distant towards whoever was stuck on you and what you want is coming in. It's just up ahead for you. Aquarius, there's something here you've been asking God for that you are about to receive. All right. So I, I feel like some of you guys may have some heavy Sagittarius in your birth chart. We also have you connect with the Earth Mother Gaia. And you're going after what you really want for your life. You're going after the changes that you're wanting. You're going after, you're making these changes, Aquarius. And you're coming together with more of your soul tribe, soul family. People here that are into the same things as you. They resonate with you and they're on the same path as you. And you guys are about to have some big miracles entering your, once again, there is this love. It keeps popping up in your guys' reading. There's the love. There's the money. Aquarius, there's the success. There's the victory. There's the Ten of Swords. I don't like the Ten of Swords. But you're being guided away from the Ten of Swords. I feel like you're being guided away from those that have betrayed you. You see, like I said, they're trying to cause a tower moment to you, but they cause their own tower moment instead. Aquarius, now you're focusing on self-love, self-care, and... Connecting with the rabbit. The rabbit is good luck. The rabbit is abundance. Once again, stepping up into abundance, Aquarius. You're also popping up as a high priestess. Somebody here that's psychic. Somebody here that's intuitive. Maybe you're connecting with the moon as well. There's somebody here that's missing an animal or a pet that you used to have. That could be you or somebody that's around you. And you're you're being told to remain focused on what it is you truly want for your life. Focus here on your dreams, your hopes, your goals, your wishes. Once again, let go of somebody here that's been ignoring you. Just let go of that. There's somebody more interesting anyways, or you, it feels like you already met somebody you're more interested in anyways that's not ignoring you here. Yeah, and there's somebody here that's going to be catching you in your feelings anyways. Like I said, it could be the person that's wanting to marry you. Aquarius there. What you've been envisioning for your future is coming in for you. There's something here that's like treasure. There's something here that's like extremely valuable to you. That's being offered to you, Aquarius. It's more abundance. It's more blessings here. And you guys are letting go of something from the past. Some I mean, of you guys could also be uh, rescuing an animal here, but it also feels like you guys are also letting go of heartbreak, releasing heartbreak, and we have the universe working with you to bring in more blessings, more abundance. And you're being told you can move in whatever direction that you want. Aquarius here. Yeah, look, there is somebody here you're, you're walking away from. There is somebody here you're letting go of. Somebody here that liked to cause a lot of heartbreak in your life. Like I said, they could, could have been a Scorpio, Queen of Wands. Maybe some of you guys have fire in your birth chart. Uh, there is some big contract that's coming up for you. This could be in terms of career, material assets. This could be a marriage contract. We did see the marriage earlier. Aquarius, we kept seeing it. There's some sort of class you're taking. You're studying here. And once again, you're moving off into a brand new beginning, a brand new cycle, a brand new chapter of your guys' life, brand new love. Look at this love. Aquarius, there's somebody here coming in that mirrors you. This is like twin flames types of vibes. All right, once again, I get more heavy Gemini. Yeah, look, heavy twin flames with you and them. When I look at this, maybe you guys be going to a beach together. Maybe there's a honeymoon at a beach or something. I don't know. I get beach vibes. Aquarius. And we have, we have the universe coming in and blessing you with more and more blessings. Gifts, money here. There's somebody here that regrets what they said or did to you. Also, it's a king of cups. It's this dumb king of cups from the past. But I don't really see them changing much of their ways. I feel like they're still this this person that they were before. You're sitting here manifesting something else anyways. And you're setting strong boundaries with whoever that person was here. And like I said, you do, you do have someone here coming in that's in their feelings about you. Emperor, they could be popping up as the Emperor here. I get heavy Aries, heavy Pisces, like I said before. Air to Gemini. Seen Gemini earlier. You guys are releasing restrictions. You guys are releasing bounds here. 
and you're you're celebrating that you're no longer bound, you're no longer restricted. Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords is yourself, whether male or female, does not matter. Once again, connecting with your moon sign, whatever that is for you, and really just cutting cords with the past. So that is what I have for you. If you want to see more content for your sign, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right, so. Oh, and also go check out more website on my content as well. Anyways, goodbye, guys.